Saab is prepared to make a substantial bid, in addition to Lockheed Martin. But before we start, subscribe to our channel and like our video. Let's start. Saab now sells both new and used JS-39 Gripen aircraft to the Philippines. It all depends on what the Philippines want. There will be a pricing difference, second hand will be less expensive, but not in the equipment. The Swedes provide the full deal and more. Philippine Acting Defense Secretary Carlito Galvez Jr. and Swedish Defense Minister Pal Johnson signed a Memorandum of Understanding Mo Yu on defense cooperation that would allow Swedish defense corporations to engage in different modernization initiatives with the armed forces of the Philippines. The MOU focuses on the Philippine Air Force. With the same budget in mind, around $1.2 billion, Sweden provided both used and new Gripen C and D aircraft. Both options allow for modifications or upgrades to Gripen E specifications by including fifth-generation electronics, transforming them into C-plus versions. The Saab-developed ASA radar is also believed to be fitted to the aircraft. The Gripen has an edge over the F-16 since it also employs the same F-404 engine as the Philippine Air Force's F-A-50 fighters. From May 24th to 28, Philippine Air Force Commander Stephen Pareo led a small group to Sweden, where he met with the commander of the Swedish Air Force. Fighter planes from the JS-39 and Saab 340 visited Saab facilities to learn about early warning and control. Sweden has four Saab 340 early warning planes. Two of these four planes are currently decommissioned. The Philippines might be interested in the Saab 340S, which are set to be retired soon. Will the Philippines accept the new proposal of Saab or wait for the Lockheed Martin's counteroffer? Write your comment below. This ends our video. Like our video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.